a family move up here from Texas. They didn't have any beds or bedding for their children. When we put them together, the one daughter just laid on her bed because they had been sleeping um, on the floor. It was very exciting to see. The West Michigan Veterans Coalition started around 2009. We started just as a group of people that kind of came together and said, there, there have got to be other veterans in this area that need resources and either people that had resources to give or had questions to, to ask and just started with a small group that really has grown. We are over 700 people now, partners from all over the community for employment, education, healthcare, and quality of life. So a few of the main areas that we have focused on in the last few years, uh, one is food insecurity. We did a a survey a few years ago and found that 25 to 30 percent of our uh, military connected individuals have experienced some kind of food insecurities. One of the families provided feedback saying you know my kids hadn't had salad in months. They were very excited. It's something we take for granted but they don't. They weren't able to. So that fresh produce really made a difference. Another big program that we have is our financial assistance program and that's one that we've been able to offer a lot of help for. We've been able to help uh, over 2,000 people in the last few years which has just been amazing that we're, we're able to help such a wide group of people and that it's not just the veteran that it's the family member too. We've established a scholarship fund where we have been able to provide funds not only for veterans but also family members to use in any way whether to go to college to a vocational school anything you know outside of high school. I think a lot of times veterans say like, I don't need the help, someone else needs more help than I do. Too often people don't realize that you are the population that, that everyone is donating, that everyone is wanting to help. So if we can get that word to veterans that if this is especially gonna be something that's gonna get you over the hump, then that's what we wanna do and that's what this fund is for. So come and ask us and let us help you. These are our neighbors, our friends, our colleagues. The West Michigan Veterans Coalition is having an, an incredible impact on their lives, which ultimately impacts our lives. Why I continue to support the West Michigan Veterans Coalition and why I'm grateful that they're involved closely with the Armed Forces Thanksgiving is I've had family members who have served. The benefit to me in understanding what the impact the Armed Forces Thanksgiving has had through the $350,000 that you know we have provided, you know, selfishly has made me feel better. I don't actually see anything wrong with that. The message I would want to leave for you know anybody that's struggling or looking for support is just that the that the coalition exists to help. Most of the board are veterans ourselves, and we've we've been there. We've been in that time of service. We've been in that transition coming home, and some of us have been out for years. And really, I just want to make sure that everybody knows that you're not alone. We know people people who can help you and will be there for you and somebody's going to be with you and make sure that you're connected throughout the whole process and, and follow up it till the end. If you'd like to learn more or get more involved, you can check out our website at www.westmichiganveterans.org.